Hi, my name is Kruno and I work at Memgraph as a technical writer. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Memgraph platform, connect to it using Memgraph Lab, run your first query and style your graph. You will see that using Memgraph is not hard at all. As I go through this webinar, you will see some parts of the code. You can find all of this code in the tutorial code First Steps with Mangraph in our documentation. With Mangraph Platform, you get the complete streaming graph application platform that includes Mangraph DB, Command Line Tool MG Console, Visual User Interface Mangraph Lab, and Mage, Graph Algorithms and Modules Library. Mangraph Platform can be installed only with Docker. Instructions on how to install Docker can be found on the official Docker website. I will use Docker on Windows, but the procedure is the same if you are using Linux or Mac OS. That is why we at Mangraph love Docker. First, I need to download and install Mangraph Platform. All that I need to do is to open a terminal on a computer and run the following command. As you can see, Mangrove Platform is being installed at the moment. Once the installation is done, I will see an MG console running. This prompt means that I have installed Mangrove Platform and that it is up and running. Now it's time for me to connect to it. In my web browser, I will go to localhost port 3000. That's it. You can see the Mangrove Web dashboard. From the dashboard, you can run queries, take a look at your graph schema, import your data, or use one of our datasets. We have prepared more than 20 datasets that can be used for testing and learning. I will now import one of those datasets. The warning that the new dataset will overwrite current data in the database is not a problem for me, since I don't have any data in the database at the moment. The data is now in my database. I'll just take a quick look at my graph schema. You can see that I have only one node type, city. Each city can be connected to other cities. And I also have data which cities are bordering one to another. Now that the data is imported, it is time to run my first cipher query. I want to see all of the cities and all of their connections. To do that, I need to run the following query. Let's say that I'm in Madrid and I want to visit other capital cities that are one or two hops away from Madrid. How can I figure out which cities are my possible destinations? This query will show all of the capital cities on the map that are up to two hops away from Madrid. My results are shown on the map. This means that I can move around, zoom, or change the map appearance. I will now use Graph Style Editor to change how nodes and relationships are shown on the map. We have included the flag for each capital city as a node property for the country it belongs to. I will now add one line of code to change the style of graph. Find the part of the code that looks like this and add the line. That looks great, but I want the names of the cities and nodes to be a little bit bigger. I have increased the node size to 10 and the font size to 12. Now I will update the styling for relationships. I will make them thicker and change their color to red on hover. What you now see is the final look of the graph. It looks great, doesn't it? I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Now that you have seen Mangrove in action, I encourage you to keep exploring Mangrove features. Check out the links below in the description. 
find the documentation and additional resources. Try it out yourself and send us your feedback. A wonderful world of graph awaits you.